All right, here we go. Hello, YouTube. I thought I'd record this video for you real quick because I'm about to take my electric car up to my parents' house, and if you've watched any of my videos, you know they're about 50 miles away from, from here. Uh, usually when I go up there, I start at 100% and I make the trip up. Right now, I'm only at 93%, so I say only at, but, you know, that's plenty of juice to make it there and back. But what I plan on doing is when I get up there, I'm probably going to roll in with only 55, 50%. I, I typically can get up there with, uh, I think, like 64% is usually what I end up with. But obviously, I'm going to be below that because I'm not at 100% charge. So I'm going to make the hour-long trip up there and then the hour-long trip back. Uh, I, I've got my headlights on because it is, uh, it is 5.30, so by the time I get up there and when I make the trip back, it's going to be... Uh, dark out so <laughs> uh, and it's already you know the sun is starting to go down at this point so yeah uh, two hour trip starting the adventure with 93 percent and I, I have no worries I know I'll be able to make it back but my my plan is to stop at the DC fast charger in Augusta Maine on the way back and you know just top off so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it how it goes so stay tuned And here we go. I just pulled into my parents' house. It's uh, just about an hour later, 6.40. And as you can see, I've got 52% on my battery. Just a little lower than I thought it was going to be. But if you saw that uh, rainbow that I put in there, <laughs> I, I traveled through a rainstorm. So you can see it's nice and wet on the windshield here. Uh, driving through rain will also cut down your range a little bit. But as you can see, I still have 62 miles that I can go. And I just need to make it 30 miles more into Augusta to hook up to that fast charger. So I'm quite positive I'll be able to make it without any issues. So here I am. I made it to Augusta. I made it to my DC fast charger. One of my favorite ones here at the uh, Hannaford in Augusta, Maine. And you can see it's 820 at night. I got my headlights on. It's nice and dark out here. <laughs> And uh, I have 23% of my battery still available to me. I've got 29 miles left to go. I could technically make it home at this point, but uh, I'm gonna get this uh, fast charge going. You can see I drove 78.3 miles from Lewiston to New Sharon to Augusta. And I'm only like, what, 23 miles away? So, I mean, that would be pushing it, but I could do it. And it's all like easy uh, driving, it's, um, you know, 45, 55 miles, so, but yeah, I'm going to hook up, I'm going to quit talking here and get this thing hooked up so I can get going, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to get a quick recording of that for y'all. So if like the CEO of Hannaford is watching, or or the CEO of EVGO for that matter, uh, we need these up in the Lewiston Auburn area. Like seriously, we do not have the infrastructure up there yet, and it would be greatly appreciated if we could get a couple of these EVGO stations and or or anybody. I mean, EVGO, it's it's your opportunity if you want to, you know, talk with Hannaford and, and get them up there to uh, Augusta. Or, or not Augusta, but Auburn, Lewiston, Auburn area. Um, otherwise, I mean, Charge Point, anybody else. I mean, we need some DC fast chargers that actually work up in the uh, LA area. Actually, if I could take my pick, I'd choose Farmington. I mean, I live in Lewiston, Auburn, and, and that's great, but I've got level two charging that I can plug into. You know, Bates has some, my dealerships, they, they all have level two, and but if I wanted to have a DC fast charger anywhere, if I could choose one place in the whole state of Maine, I would choose Farmington, Maine. Because that way I'd be able to drive my car up to Farmington and instead of just going to my parents and then heading straight back afterwards, I, I could take the car out. I could go to the movie theaters. I could go, you know, I could do whatever up there. And in fact, that would be a place to put one. Uh, talk, talk to uh, narrow gauge cinemas if you can. 
and, and get get a I mean level two would actually be great at narrow gauge but I just want to see a DC fast charger somewhere in the Franklin County area somewhere in Farmington Maine you put a DC fast charger up there and I'd be able to do a lot more when I go up to visit my parents and it would just be it would be so cool to see one up there here I am home sweet home it's uh, 932 57 degrees outside <laughs> and as you can see I've got 71% on my battery I forgot to uh, record after I unhook but uh, it charged me up to 93% so the irony that I left here originally with 93% uh, got all the way up to my folks house I forget where I was at that point and then got to Augusta and I had I, I know I had 29 miles and see I it took 27.3 to get here, so yeah, I could have done that. I could have rolled in with just two miles left, but I would have been in on turtle mode, and I, I've never been on turtle mode before, and I, I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. So if it can be avoided, you know, I might as well DC fast charge, and it worked out. I'm back home. I, I have 71% of my battery, and... I've got another 89 miles that I can go. You, you take that 89 and add the 27, that's 116 miles. So still at a 93% charge, well above the 107 EPA range. And a lot of my driving was 45, 55 for those 27 miles from Augusta back home. So this car is just, it is an excellent, excellent vehicle.